Hallelujah. This evening, can you just lift your hands and bless the one who is worthy? And if it's unscripted worship, you didn't come with your structure, you came to just love him. And so this evening, I want you to lift your hands and bless him.
did not come to see any guest minister because the Holy Ghost is our focus. And so let your worship be unto the Lord. understanding we are honoring God we are not just singing songs but we are singing the word of God and we are honoring our father so every one of us can we just consciously bless him he's the God of all wonders lift your voice tonight Andere be konduru do bosaya na mandele le kolo do mona na mana kote. Andele be re kandura da mana na 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 nonesa. E mana na maro kara da vatele lesa. E babara da kobara dia dana na. E lo bara da da. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a prophet. More is a declaration. In that situation, in that challenge. More The doctor says it's over, but more He said I will not succeed, but Because when you say unscripted worship, it simply means that you are laying it bare before the Lord. You're saying, Lord, we may even have an order of program, but we are giving you the liberty to change all that we have planned. When you say unscripted worship, you are saying, Lord, take the stage. That everyone that came for this meeting will have an encounter. 
even though, you know, I came in in a hurry, wanting to leave also because of a meeting. Anytime that I'm in a meeting, I want to get the most of it. Because when we give the Lord the opportunity to move in our midst, we experience powerful things. We know your power is here. We know your glory is here. We know your power is here. We know. Many of us that can pray in the Holy Ghost, come on, let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's charge this atmosphere now. Let's charge for as many of us that can pray in the Holy Ghost. Clap those hands, stamp your feet, and pray in the Holy Ghost now. That the Lord is enthroned a hat. Esuvi kapara de kasuva ladi. Robe nene mango salabati. Roba baba shande. Robe ketele kapande. Ando kraba. We decree freedom. We decree deliverance. We decree peace. In the name of Jesus, we decree salvation. Ekoraba shat. We decree healing. In the name of Jesus. Roba shila kote. Roba dakande. Roba sote. Roba baba rade de kone. And at your name, every knee must bow, Jesus, you're the Bam and Gilead, and at your name, Every knee must bow, Jesus, you're the best. I, I just want to advise, hold on, hey, why, hold on. I want to just encourage us, when you come for a worship meet, don't preempt um, maybe what the guest minister will do, you know. 
or what will happen in the meeting. Just have an expectation. God wants to touch everyone. But if we are not aligned, we may miss what the Lord is doing. Just imagine that we are here and then God wants to heal people that have cancer. And then we get carried away with activity. We must stay where God will have us stay. And God wants to do much more. That we are here for, for, for the blast and then we can say that the hand of the Lord was in this meeting. That's what we want to say. Not that this person sang well. No. We want to be able to say that at the end of this conference, at the end of this meeting, that the Lord was pleased. Thank you. 
the loving God. He gave me a priceless gift, the Holy Ghost. Through me, God is revealed. I am saved eternally in Christ. I'm the image of the loving God. He gave me a priceless gift. It's the Holy Ghost. Through me, God is revealed. I am saved eternally in Christ. Say, I have the way. inside of me I have the way I have the way the life of Christ is what I am I have the way I have the way the spirit of God manifesting in me the way I have the way Spirit of God yes it dwells in me I have the way I have the way Spirit of God no sickness lives in sin, no pain in the Spirit of God Ooh. we have the way we have the way, the life of God, now in we get the way, the way, the way. Can you drop somebody shot for joy? This life that I have is the life of this life that I have is the life. This life that I have is the life of God. This life that I have is the life of God. This joy that I have is the joy of the Holy Ghost. This peace that I have is the peace of God. There's a life that I have is the life of God in this is the life of shots away Delivering Zoe, directioning Zoe, powering Zoe, healing in Zoe, favoring Zoe, directioning Zoe, say powering Zoe, say powering Zoe, healing in Zoe, healing in Zoe, favoring Zoe, favoring Zoe, directioning Zoe. Direction in the way. Direction in the way. 
30 seconds, I want you to decree over your life that I have victory in Christ. I cannot be sick. I know what to do. I know where to go. The life of God is active in me. I respond to the Holy Ghost. Can you just decree right now? Right now, right now, that you are not a failure. You are not a failure. You cannot be depressed. You cannot be down. The life of God is at work in you. Arabashaya. Ekolobo Sombraka. Decree now. Decree now. That the life of God is expressed through you to the nations of the world. That you will be bold about preaching the gospel. Your hands will heal the sick. You will raise the dead by the power of God that is at work in you. In the name of Jesus, you walk in abundance. You are fruitful. You are fruitful. Your future is secure. No more fear. No more fear. Come on, decree now. Because that's your reality. Decree your reality. You are praying and decree the counsel of God over your life, over your family, over your children, over your marital destiny, over everything that concerns you. Oh, Rabasha, over your parents. Decree that they will grow and enjoy what God has set for them. If you can't decree over your life, decree over the leadership of the church that they will walk in wisdom. That they will take decisions as led by the Spirit of God. That there will be boldness in preaching the Word of God. We are in a time where the gospel is not being preached the way it should. But our time it will be different. We will go all out for the gospel. We will heal the sick. We will raise the dead. We will tell the world about Christ. In our, in our ledel, in our, in our mimimo, in our, in our ledel, in our, in our mimimo. In our, in our tideo, he says he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. In our, and a kula la da tia, again a man on a kola be a rada for no, in our, I'm just going to say this so that it helps you. So that when other ministers are leading us, because we are all ministering unto the Lord. And as he's telling us to do something, because I'm just privileged to hold the microphone, we are doing the same thing. You know, you're standing there, I'm here. We are all ministering to the Lord because he's the audience. And it's the reason why we're gathered. You know. So, I'm saying this so that when another person comes and maybe they're not even singing the song that you like, just remember that God is your focus. It's not anybody, it's not any guest minister. So sometimes we just try to say one or two things from the perspective of God's word so that we all are, you know, of one mind. So that there's no distraction because there shouldn't be distraction when we're ministering to the Lord, we are, when we are honoring the Lord, where we are praying, you know, Last year, I keep sharing this because I know that it will encourage someone. Every song that we sing as believers, they are significant. In fact, sometimes the Lord will sing over you because he, he wants to help you out of a particular situation. I mean, some of the songs that I've been singing here today, you know, sometimes I'm just... 
sleeping and then just hear the song and I wake up singing it. Sometimes I'm studying the word and I just hear the sound. Sometimes I'm in a meeting like this. I mean, I've written several songs just in a meeting, not as even as a guest minister. I'll just be at the back and then I'll just hear the melody and then take my phone and then record. I was going through a challenge. Not that I was going through a challenge. God saved me from a disaster. And then I was in a meeting just like this. And, you know, my pianist was just playing. He was just playing the chord. And, and then I began to sing the song. People didn't understand. Because first, when, I, when I'm here, or when I'm standing before God's people, I just truly want to please the Lord. I just want to honor him. Is the reason why I'm alive. It's the reason why I'm living. So whatever I'm doing, I just want to please him with everything. With the sound, with the song, everything with my life, with my posture. I didn't even know that the Lord was just singing over me and using that song to take me out of a dark situation. And after singing that song, a few days later, I began to... I, I saw deliverance i saw the hand and the power of god but it started just from a song and i'm just going to sing this song and i teach us very simple song I'm just singing that sometimes you just need to get angry at the enemy. There was a day I was just in my office and you know, in my room and I, I was sleeping. You know, people say that, oh, they used to feel that that something that is pushing them is. And then I, I just sensed that many months back and I saw I was so angry. And the face I said, Are you are you mad? In the I in the name of get out. I just sense a demonic presence. Sometimes the reason why that sickness or that challenge had stayed is because you didn't get angry at that situation. You didn't use the authority that you have in Christ. I'm, when I sing this song, I'm always there to pray. I, I, I want to see the dead raised in my time. I was in the place and I was, I was in an old woman's house. I think she's like 70. And I was in, in, in the house and she couldn't speak and she couldn't walk. And I just got angry. Now she's been talking, but suddenly she couldn't talk very well. And I just got angry in my spirit. You just have to come to a place where you exercise your authority. Yes, I have given you authority. That's what Christ said. And I said, Ma, do you believe that you can speak now? She shook her head. I took the anointing oil that was there. And I said, in the name of Jesus, the name, not in my name, the name that is above every name. Philippians 2 says, at the name of Jesus, every name must bow. And I, and I touched it. I touched her neck. I touched her leg. And in like three, four minutes, she began to just walk and she began to talk. What am I saying? No, listen, I'm saying that as a believer, exercise your authority. Don't let the enemy ride on you. The church must rise. Your mom is going through a challenge. Your parents are going through a challenge. And you're, and you're just going about your business. Call few of your friends. Agree in the place of prayer. 
was just taking, I was coming and I saw a group of young men and about 15 of them just, just smoking in their hand. And my, my heart just born. I said, Lord, these ones will be saved. And if that's your passion, God will just help you to grow capacity and boldness. And you walk up to them. I said, Jesus wants you to be saved. And Jesus wants to heal you. And that's what God wants. You must be passionate about what God is passionate about. And that's what I came to tell us today. And this is unscripted. I didn't even plan to really, really do. Just for me, I, I just wanted to come and just rush. I'm glad that I came today. Hallelujah. So in one minute, and this is what I do, so that I go now, in one minute, and this is another thing that drives the enemy mad. Paul understood it. David understood it. He says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Not when we have unscripted worship. In the good and bad times, I will bless the Lord. Paul was in the prison, and he was telling persecuted Christians, he says, rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. One of the ways to get the devil mad is to rejoice always in the midst of trials maybe there's you know your the landlord school fees whatever it is and you're saying oh i reach lord i thank you because there's increase i thank you for my health i thank you for my family i thank you for dealing Kaya. so in the next one minute to just drop the mic as we continue this meeting be focused everyone that will come just receive the gift of god so in the next one minute I want you to rejoice. Look at that situation and rejoice over it. Are you ready to rejoice? Are you ready to rejoice? Somebody ready? Rejoice! 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 Joy, there's peace. 